Something Vince Pace said set the table for our next move. I think anything is back on the table in refer reference to 3D. How am I going to edit this? How, what, what's my editor going to think about this? Editors. Marge thought it'd be a good idea to follow the trail and get some face time with one of these editors. Find out what he knew about this 3D thing. It's the exact same editing system that's been out there for years that we've been developing. The new 3D capability is built in, so we just want to keep that same editing process going but add on the new features with 3D. People actually do want to bring it into the editing bay. And what we have is the ability to actually work with over under images in the editing system itself, uh, but also work left eye, right eye, or checkerboard, and simultaneously get an output with the actual checkerboard, and you can put on 3D glasses, and in the edit bay, actually see 3D. You don't have to actually export or do any sort of outputs going through projection systems to actually see it. You can actually do it right in the edit bay now. Have you noticed that end users uh, are requesting this this type of a editing uh, software, or is it more on the production end? Again, it's something new when we started to move into color correction and things like that. Again, it was new technology that offline editors have to learn. Now moving into 3D, it's again another realm that people have to move into, but we're seeing a huge push in 3D production going on here in Hollywood. Can you talk a little bit about the process of editing the 3D images? I know that we're, we're working with two, two images, two, two cameras shooting. So that's the right eye and left eye right on top of one another in the over and under view. Or do I want to show in the editor my stereo, my checkerboard? In the composer area, we can view left, right, or stereo. So we can actually, the editor can work independently with left eye, right eye, or the actual checkerboard. And in the actual editor, I've taken the right eye and left eye images and combined them and created a single file. And as I'm playing it, we're actually getting the stereo so they don't have to go through the process again of doing a full export out and going into an actual uh, 3D projection system to, to see it. Actually, it's a monitor with the uh, 3D capability. So this is one of the, the new Samsungs. We're just going DVI out of the computer. So out of the second DVI port on the NVIDIA card, we're going in HDMI and turning on here in the Samsung monitor which 3D mode we actually want to be displaying in, which then syncs up with the glasses and that will let you actually see the tr uh, true 3D again in the editing bay. We learned a few things. We picked up a few tips from our friends at the 3D Summit. What we started out with is we wanted to keep the capture side of it as clean as possible, not engineering driven. We all know that the digital world in, in the beginning was very intensive on an engineering side, and that has seemed to retreat it back behind the scenes. We're doing the same thing with 3D. I actually think it's going to be a cable channel or a satellite delivery channel that's going to bring 3D into the home first. You'll sign up for it, you'll pay extra for it, and there'll be 3D programming on that channel and you'll have your glasses. The glasses were a constant. But 3D had changed, that's certain. And there were people out there who were part of the change. And as long as people were part of the change, Marge was going to be on their trail here on the mean streets of Hollywood. <laughs>